Hi there, it's Simon here. Hope you are well. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, how good do you think phone tuners are? I've got a phone tuner installed on my Google Pixel 3. I've got a Polytune clip-on tuner and I've got the Polytune 2 Noir because black is better or something. Let's see how they compare. See you in a sec. <laughs> Before we get into the video, please do subscribe and click the bell for notifications of when lessons come up. They come up on Tuesdays and on Saturdays. And if you're able to support the channel with $3 a month, go to patreon.com forward slash Simon Morell. All right, let's get into this video. So what I thought I would do is I would display on the screen all at the same time the tuners just to see how they manage the tuning. So just to give you an idea that phone tuning app was free it's called G strings and then this clip on number was about 80 bucks I got a bit sucked into that I don't really use its polyphonic um, tuning ability that much I used to have a snark tuner that just died the clip actually broke so that's why I bought this one and I've got the pedal tuner is the polytune too just because it happened to be the one in the shop that day all right so we've got a low E here so what I thought I'd do is I'd walk through each of the strings, see how well the phone tuner picks them up, see how well everything else picks them up. Okay, polytuner on the floor is calling that pretty much in. Okay, the clip on is calling that slightly sharp. The phone is calling that slightly sharp. Well, that's interesting. Let's have a go at harmonic. Closer. Let's go for the clip on now. In. Floor tuner calling that slightly out. Phone tuner, phone tuner calling that slightly out. Harmonic. So there, that's actually pretty interesting. <laughs> Who would have thought? I would have thought they would have been much closer than that. It appears that the phone tuner thinks that's sharp, as does the clip-on, but the pedal tuner thinks that's fine. Okay, let's try the next string. A. Let's get there. Much closer, much closer, right? Okay, D. Let's hit harmonic there. So it seems the phone tuner and the clip on tuner seem to be sort of agreeing more than the floor tuner. This is wild, man. I didn't, I hadn't expected this. So D. Oh, sorry, let's just do, do it open first. So finally, they all agree on the D string. Okay, open G. Hmm. 
this is really a very interesting experiment. I hadn't, I've never done this before. I've only just started doing this literally as we're filming this video. I thought it would be a good idea. But it appears that the D and G strings, fine, they all agree. The low strings, absolutely hopeless. Here's a B. Now, here's a thing that's freaky with the clip-on tuner. See, it says there F-sharp. It's definitely not an F-sharp. Must be some kind of harmonic from this particular guitar. I find it happens on this guitar, but I also find when I use the clip-on tuner that it happens at a variety of different guitars, right? It's kind of weird. But um, if we maybe move it around, put it there. See, there it says B. No, it's not. In the middle, F sharp. Weird. Very weird. So let's put it there. B. Let's give it a little bit more. Okay, there it's. Phone tuner reckons it's sharp. French tuner reckons the E sharp. Everything else reckons it's the same. So the other cool thing that these polytunes do is that you can actually just do this. Now, the idea of the polytune is that you strum all the strings and it just tells you which ones are in and out and then you can quickly just check them out. So the thing I found with the polytune clip-on it just doesn't work as effectively as the pedal. I mean, you know, I guess what did I expect? But, you know what I mean? It's pretty expensive for a clip-on tuner, but you know, once you've got it, you've got it, right? See, it's just, I don't know what's going on there. This is a brand new battery in this as well. Okay, so. Yeah, so. It's very interesting. So according to the floor tuner, this guitar is perfectly in tune. Sounds in tune. Sounds in tune to me. Hmm, very interesting. All right, well, I guess that's it for today. I suppose the other things I would think about, it depends on your application, right? If you're in a loud gig using your phone tuner to tune the guitar before you go and do the gig is going to be impossible. All right. That's one thing to think about. Number two, clip on tuners. They work really, really well. Um, guy I play with, he always puts his this way so you can see from the back and it doesn't look so crap on the headstock. I don't love the look of them on the headstock if you're doing a gig. Maybe that's because I'm older. I don't know. Do people really care about that? Do you really care about that? I think I care about that. I think it looks a bit lame. Uh, the other thing, obviously, the clip-on tuner doesn't do, it doesn't cut off the signal, right? So, uh, whereas floor tuner, you know, bzzz, click, check the tuning. People at the front don't hear you tuning because literally nobody wants to hear the tuning song. I'm looking at you, Richie. And, uh, yeah, so there you go. That's what I reckon. Be interested to see what you think. Well, this is quite a niche video, but phone tuner, free, versus polytune, clip on, 80 bucks, versus floor tuner, probably 150 or something, I guess. And the phone tuner actually goes perfectly okay. So, free, free is good. Hope you like this free video. I'll see you next time. Please do subscribe and click the button for regular videos in the week on Tuesdays. I have gear videos and backing tracks and other stuff like this. On Saturdays, I have a lesson, usually about a tune or a technique. I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.
Bye for now.